Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another super quick Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Real quickly, friends, I do want to highlight we are on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have a Tinkercad tab with tons of Tinkercad lessons. And then also down here at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, we're here today because that's how this user reached out. All right, friends, so we are starting here with a shared project. This was so cool. The user was able to create a link, ship that to me so I could get in and check it out. Notice these are notes, and the user left a note saying, hey, I'm trying to make the line thickness of this design 1.5 millimeters. Can extrude it that way, but I can't get it to work. Friends, I fiddled around for a bit. Watch this solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is export this design as an SVG. Uh, it's the only one in here, so I don't have to worry about selecting it. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder, and I'm just going to call it test and save it as an SVG. Now, friends, the trick we're going to use is we're going to, instead of using Tinkercad, we're going to move to Inkscape. Real quickly, if you're looking for Inkscape, notice the first ones are evil ads. Make sure you go to inkscape.org. That is where you can find the download and get the totally free Inkscape. Don't mess with other places. Always watch out for those words add that are before those links you could have clicked. I already have Inkscape installed, so I'm just going to launch it from my toolbar. Mine launches like this because I usually used it for my Glowforge. Now I don't need that shape, but it's still, that's how I've got it set. I'm going to hit file open. When I do, remember we put it in downloads and I called it test. When it launches, notice it's totally blank. It really isn't. Watch this. If we do control A, you can see something is selected. Now I want to go to object and I want to find fill and stroke. I've also got it over here, but I want you to see it if you don't have these listed. We want to go out to stroke style. See where it says 0.04? we need to change that to something bigger. So I'm going to just right now type 0.5 and press enter and boom, you can see the design. Now remember that user wanted to make theirs 1.5 millimeters. So I'm simply going to type 1.5 millimeters to get this new design. Friends, are you ready for this? We are done. We're going to go to file and we're going to export this SVG. Now, once again, I've got my export options down here. I want to do plain SVG, and it asks where I want to put it. Right now, it thinks it's going to name it test. I'm going to name it test2. And then when I hit export, it will save it to that location. Friends, we've got one more tool we're going to use before we bring it back into Tinkercad. So there will be a link, obviously, in the description. But if you do SVG2 STL, there is a web tool, notice right here, svg2stl.com. It is going to convert that to an STL that we can then bring in. So first we hit select. Once again, we return to my downloads because that's where I snagged it. We're taking test two. Once we select it, we upload it. Boom, it shows us what it's going to look like. It's asking for how high. Because this user told me 1.5 millimeters, I'm just going to hit it and it is gonna make the three dimensional object just like that. Let's download. Once again, I'll put it there. I don't care that it has that name, all that 1.5 stuff is fantastic. Let's return to Tinkercad. I'm gonna start a new project so I'm not messing with the user's file anymore. Plus, let's click 3D design. And are you ready for this? Import, choose file. We want the test SVG millimeters and I'm going to keep the measurements and simply hit import. After a moment you have got that same design that you had before but now it has got the one and a half millimeter size that you wanted. How slick is that? All right friends so let's quickly review. We exported as an SVG so that we could play with our design. In Inkscape we were able to set the line thickness that gave us this style we wanted and then from that SVG we changed to an STL so we could simply bring it into Tinkercad and use it for whatever you want. 
Those are the steps to end up with thicker lines from your SVG file. Once again, I want to thank Mark for the question. I had a ton of fun figuring this out. And of course, if you guys found it useful, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you totally make my day if you had a question or a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.